Oh my gosh, my jawline. <laughs> Hello you, I hope you're good. rainbow eyeshadow on for the pride month maybe I'll wear it the whole month who knows it's been a while since I've actually done a YouTube video and I have been very busy I've been doing some good stuff and I can't wait to share it with you guys and one of them is sisters of, sisters of house sisters of, I can't say my own film's name sisters of house black which will be coming out later this year but uh, yeah. I've literally forgotten how to YouTube. But anyway, I thought it'd be really nice to do a Q&A before we start as well. I got a lot of Sisters of House Black questions. Um, I'm probably not going to answer them in this video because that's going to be another video. And also because announcement, woo, every Sunday now on my YouTube channel is going to be Sisters of House Black Sunday. So there's going to be some sort of Sisters of House Black video every Sunday on this channel leading up to the film. So you will find out more about the film as the weeks go on and on, which is very exciting. It's going to be stuff from like Q&As to behind the scenes stuff to interviews. So yeah, watch out for that. Check out this shirt. This shirt. It looks good, doesn't it? It's a jumper actually, uh, but it looks good, doesn't it? You can actually get it yourself if you want it. And you can look like... You can... You can like pose and, and whatever you want, you can do whatever you want in it, but links down below. Anyway, let's get on to the questions because that's what this video is about. This was on my Instagram and my Twitter, so I'm gonna go with, I got a lot on Instagram, so I'm gonna go with Instagram first. Let's have a gander, let's see what's happening here. On a scale from one to Dobby, how free are you? I am free. Free falling. I'm definitely not in Azkaban, even though I get a lot of Bellatrix comments. She's in Azkaban. I'm not. I'm free. So I'm pretty much like Dobby free. Your go to tea brand, Yorkshire tea, obviously, not just because I'm from Yorkshire, but because it is the best, and that is not even up for a debate. I actually got a lot of pride questions, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Did you find it hard coming out to family or friends? So I came out two years ago now, one year, two years ago. Oh my gosh, life goes fast. <laughs> Enjoy it while it lasts, kids. Anyway, <laughs> I came out to my family. Um, I feel like the hardest bit was actually just getting the courage to do it. Also, like, trying to figure out how to explain what demisexual was. Um, I'll get into this in, in, the, in another question. Yeah, that was the hardest part. Then my mum was very accepting. Like, my dad, I think he's fine with it too. Um, he's very much that kind of person that's like, yeah, whatever. And he, I take a lot, of, I take... I don't know how to speak. I basically, I'm very similar to my dad in the way that he's like crazy loves standing out and wears crazy fashion and literally is like everyone is cool kind of thing. If they have any qualms about it, they haven't really said anything. I am very grateful to be in a group of people that are very open, that are very welcoming. So I have been very lucky in that stance. So I guess the hardest part for me was actually just getting the courage and figuring out, the hardest part was figuring out if I who I was, if I was or not, that was the hardest part for me. What will I do this summer? Oh, I have loads of things planned for this summer. Um, the Summer in the City, which is a convention. I'm also filming on a series, uh, which is super cool. Um, I put about it on my Instagram. It is called Queers Without Fears. I'll, I'll put a link to my Instagram and you can see what that's all about. It is a show that is produced by Rain Dove and it is awesome and fun and it is gonna be so good and I just can't wait for you to see it. I've been helping out with the casting for, for that season and also I'm in it as well. So 
yeah, you guys should keep up to date with that. Follow my Instagram. I will be updating you guys more about that. But I'm going to be doing some of that this summer. I also have some other stuff that I don't really want to mention now. But it's exciting and it's fun. Who knows? I really want to do some music this summer. I don't know if that's going to happen because I am not with a record label anymore. So technically, I don't really have like the funds to do it. Patreon, if you want to if you want to see more music, Patreon is where you can support me. But yeah, I also am very busy with Sisters of House Black, so who knows? I do really want to do some more music. Qualities you look for in a person. Also, do you like this fan? Becky got it for me from Venice. I feel like she knows me very well. It's getting hot in here. Qualities you look for in a person. Is this like in anyone? Because I just like anyone who is fun to get along with, who is open-minded, who is just a general fun, nice person. I don't really care who they are. Um, what they do, what they look like, and that goes for friends and dating. Like, I, I like if I just like get on with you and I have fun and we have great conversations and I can be silly and be myself in front of them, then I'm gonna love them anyway as a friend, as a as a relationship, like anything. Pros and cons of Pride Month. Oh, this is an interesting question. I see it more as a pro because it's just a month to really talk about sexuality, to talk about pride, to talk about who you love, to talk about who you are. It's That's a huge pro about it. There's also lots of fun events, lots of fun discussions. Um, I guess the con could be the people who try to retaliate against that. Also, I guess corporations that are jumping onto Pride Month who suddenly disappear after Pride Month is done, like I guess that's not cool, but I also like all the rainbows, like, it's so colourful and it's so fun. And I'm so thankful to Pride Month as well because it really helps people give courage to be who they are, to realise that they're not alone, which is a huge pro to Pride Month and I'm so glad that it is a thing. I feel like we're so privileged to have this as a thing now and I'm so happy that it is. What is something that is on your to-do list that you keep, keep putting off? Music! Music! I want to make music! Kelsey! Did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? I may have done. I may have not. Cannot confirm. Or deny. How secure do you feel about your sexual orientation? I felt lost for a lot of time. Okay, so this one is... Like, I wanna... Okay, so... Let's talk about it. I put out a video, I think two years ago... One, it's two years ago right now, I think it is. Uh, two years ago, uh, basically announcing that I am queer and that I am bisexual slash demisexual I I don't know if I feel comfortable with those labels anymore like how secure I feel about my sexual orientation I feel like now I've, a few years have passed I feel like my sexuality is a lot more fluid than I realise and personally myself I don't like to put a label like I don't like to put demisexual anymore I don't like to put bisexual anymore I don't think I'll ever feel completely secure in what a defined label of my sexual orientation is and I don't feel like you have to feel secure for some people it helps if that helps you define who you are I'm totally cool with you having a label and I completely understand it but personally me I think a label actually kind of like stressed me out a little bit like it made me even more like who am I am I this person I have to be this person kind of thing so I don't feel like you have to be completely secure in your sexual orientation I think it's totally okay not to be um, and I think it's totally normal that's what I was talking about earlier on with the other question about my sexuality uh, if I was gonna say a label I would probably say pansexual or bisexual but I don't want to give myself that label because I don't feel entirely secure with it secure I I feel very secure not being secure if that even makes any sense is there anything you really want to see visit when you're in New York so if you guys don't know I'm going to New York at the end of this month how exciting I'm gonna be there for New York Pride I'm gonna be doing a performance I'm gonna put all the details in the description below and it's also gonna be on my Instagram and everything I'm so so excited I know nothing about New York literally nothing so please give me recommendations about New York but the most thing I'm, I'm excited about is to just like meet people and see like amazing 
faces. When did you decide to start liking Harry Potter? I didn't decide to start liking Harry Potter. Harry Potter chose me because I am the chosen one. You could go to lunch with any celebrity, who would it be and where would you go? Oh my gosh, I would go to Weatherspoons with Lady Gaga. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Me and Lady Gaga are in Weatherspoons. If you, like non-UK people are watching, Weatherspoons is like a really cheap pub restaurant and it would be super funny to imagine me and Lady Gaga having lunch at Weatherspoons. I really, really, really want to have a conversation with Lady Gaga. I feel like we'd have a lot to talk about. I don't know. What have you been listening to recently? Okay, okay, my favourite things I'm listening to at the minute. I have been listening to Todrick Hall's Howl's Party Part 1. That is an- if you want to bop, if you want to have a bop and you want to have a dance, listen to that album, especially Nails, Hair, Hips, Heels. Like, let's just- <laughs> And then Lizzo's new album is awesome as well. They've got such good songs on that album. You should listen to Lizzo's album, it's so good. This song called Attitude by Lake Kelly 47 or Washington Set, I'm not entirely sure. So what I got attitude, bitch I got attitude. So what I got attitude, bitch I got I got way too busy then, like, feeling myself. <laughs> anyway. Um. Um. Oh, oh, oh. 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 And oh. The best tip you can give to teens who are still trying to find themselves. I, to this day, don't feel like you ever truly find yourself. And that's okay. That's totally okay. Like, that is life, it is a learning experience. You're gonna learn and grow as you get older and older. And you will grow into your own. And I know that's super hard, especially when you're in an environment like school and stuff like that. Just know that you are special, everyone is special, but you are special in your own way. And that is you, that is yourself. Instead of stressing out about it, if you are stressed, you might not be stressed, you might just be like, curious. Have fun with it. It is fun finding out who you are. It's a journey and journeys usually end up being very fun in the end and rewarding. I'm not the most articulate person ever, but I hope that helps a little bit and just know that you are fabulous, you are amazing, you are going to find yourself and it's going to be a fun journey. Like I said with the, the sexual orientation question, it's okay to not know who you are. Even I don't fully know who I am, I'm still trying to find who I am. My, my mum is still trying to find who she is and I think it's just a constant journey so just enjoy the ride. What is the most annoying thing that a fan has said to you? Oh, okay, I wouldn't class this as annoying. I class this as just confusing as to why you would say this. It is like comments like, oh, your eyes look weird. Uh, I, I, I actually didn't know that. Like, I feel like they think that like I, I didn't know that. Like, that their comment is gonna make me realize that I do have weird eyes. If you had to join a K-pop group, which one would you choose? I would want to join Blackpink, because like they have good songs, they're kind of cool and edgy but cute still, and I feel like that's me. I don't know about you, but I feel like that's me. How do you make a living? Okay, I get asked this a lot. Um, I do do other things outside of the internet. My actual jobs uh, acting and dancing and I don't share like every single job I do on the internet because I don't feel like I have to share my whole life with the internet but yeah acting and dancing is my main kind of income outside of YouTube and how I make money and I love it it's so much fun it's not the most secure job in the world but it's a lot of fun I also ha I have a lot of people asking questions if I like get disabled benefits because of my eye uh, which is totally not true like no, I don't. Like, I wouldn't even want to because I don't need disabled benefits because I can live completely fine with one eye. I'm still an able being and it doesn't cause any issues. So basically how I make a living is YouTube, also brand deals on YouTube and Instagram, mainly Instagram, and then I do acting and dancing jobs outside of the internet. <laughs> My knee. 
<laughs> I just have shorts on underneath this jumper because it's a bit warm. What age did you start dancing? I started dancing when I was five years old, which is actually quite old for a kid to start dancing. Usually they start when they're like two, but I started when I was five. That's still young. If you could, would you want your eye back or would it seem too unnatural by now? Um, okay, let's be honest. Let's be completely honest. Uh, maybe this goes against, like, to fully embrace who you are. But, okay, so I would not get a, get a real eye because that would just be too weird. I don't know if I would ever fully adjust to having two eyes. That'd be so weird. I don't think I'd ever want a real eye now because I'm so adjusted to my own life. But I would. If somebody offered me a fake eye that looks exactly the same as a real eye and moves like a real eye, I would take it. Definitely. Do you believe in magic or paranormal things? I do. I believe in spiritual and paranormal things quite a lot. Um, I've had a lot of paranormal experiences. I did videos years ago on some paranormal experiences. I do believe in magic too. I was actually having a conversation with someone that I feel like magic is just science that we haven't discovered yet. <laughs> kind of thing or science that we discovered years ago and then somehow have not have, it's like gotten hidden I feel like magic is more of a scientific thing and I do believe in spirituality as well but uh, even though I'm not particularly religious how come you're so underappreciated the dance and acting skills are on fire but you could help me out by sharing my videos liking my videos commenting um on my videos on my twitter and on my instagram that would help a lot Thanks, and also thank you for the nice compliment. What's the most extra thing you've done? Uh, there's too many times to count. I think the most recent, most extra thing I've done is I was in heaven and Womanizer came on and I started doing like a whole on performance, like I grabbed the confetti off the floor and I didn't just dance, I performed. And there was even like a pole, it wasn't like a dancing pole, it was just a a pole in the, like the structure pole and I started dancing on that so I guess that's the most recent extra thing I've done but there's too many times to count and I can't tell if that's a good thing or a bad thing what did you study at college I studied musical theatre yeah I studied musical theatre <laughs> can you not tell yeah I studied Singing, acting, dancing, all that shabam. Where to meet you in London? Okay. Don't stalk me. Don't try to find me in London. Don't do that. Because that's not cool. But, if you do see me around in London, feel free to say hi. Because I, like I like to meet you guys, but just don't, don't like actively try and find me. Because... Don't do that. Other like, obviously I put like, when I'm dancing at Cyberdog and stuff, like, obviously that's cool. What is your worst nightmare? To get old and think I wish I'd done that instead of, at least I had a go. Bush or tri trimmed? You know. <laughs> um, well, this isn't something that we should scoff at or be embarrassed about. Um, but I do have younger people watching me, so all I'm gonna say is that if you know what this question is about, um, I'm a dancer, so I'm gonna make you try and figure out what that means. What's your favourite thing about being you? Oh, about being me. What's my favourite thing about being me? Um, my favourite thing about being me is my energy. I somehow have a lot of energy. I don't know where it's from, I don't know what powers it, but I'm very thankful for this energy and for the ability to kind of keep going and see the fun in things. I also like my smile. I think it's really like goofy but like nice and welcoming. It's not like... <laughs> I also like my jawline. Okay, this is just getting a bit conceited now, isn't it? No, it's not. Love yourself. Love who you are. Don't be embarrassed to be conceited. Anyway, um, how long have you been doing voguing for? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I think um, I saw a clip in like 2015. And then I started kind of pretty much trying to copy moves and learn voguing from 
the internet from like 2015. So that's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, four years now, four years, oh my gosh, time's gone very quick and also my skills have not really gotten that far. <laughs> Ooh. If you had a middle name, what would it be? Kelsey, Extra, Ellison. <laughs> when did you want to start acting? I have wanted to act since I first put on a Disney princess dress when I was a kid. What do you do for self-care? Self-care for me is... I don't... Everyone has... It's, diff, it's different for everyone. Sometimes self-care, like having a bath and chilling out is self-care for you. For me, self-care is literally looking after myself, as in eating well, working out, having a shower, <laughs> going out, like speaking speaking to people is a huge thing of self-care for me. Sometimes I can be, I'm quite as, as well, crazy as this sounds, I'm actually quite introverted. Um, I can be very introverted, I can very be like in myself, in my room for, for days and that's not good because I'm like still quite extroverted as well, I, I like to talk to people so Talking to people is actually a form of self-care for me as well, like talking to my friends, even not not like even about serious things, just like talking to people. Again, just making sure if I am feeling anxious, if I am feeling burnt out, realise that and just give myself, don't be too harsh if I need a break. Don't be too harsh on myself is my, yeah, that's what I do. Um, bubble baths and stuff like that don't really work. Meditation also as well, making sure I have some time every day to do meditation really helps put my like focus in order and it really helps. I also have a gratitude journal which I also count as self-care so I'll write down everything that I enjoyed about the day and that I was thankful for and that kind of just helps me put things into perspective as well and help me feel good about myself and my life. Okay so we have a couple from Twitter now. If you had to choose what brand to dress you for a red carpet what would it be? I love your styles and always think this is a fun conversation with friends. Thank you. My... okay Vivian ring me, dial me if I'm ever on the red carpet. Vivian Westwood please give me a call. Uh, I feel like, I love Vivian Westwood, it's so such a cool style, I want a Vivian Westwood suit or like a dress. Have you accepted your sorting into Slytherin yet? No, because I'm a Gryffindor. Um, I actually am a Gryffindor, like I did the test again and I got Gryffindor, that was just like a fluke. Uh, literally like every time before that I got Gryffindor, so I'm gonna stay as a Gryffindor and I definitely feel more like a Gryffindor than a Slytherin, like I feel like it's pretty obvious I'm a Gryffindor. I may look like a Slytherin, but I am a Gryffindor. It's raining so much today and it keeps getting dark, it's so gloomy. Bring me back the sunshine. I want to wear my shades. I got these from the charity shop in the kids section for 50p. Very last question. There's been a lot of questions and I haven't even answered them all. Don't know how long this video is going to be. But last question. Is your hair naturally curly or did you perm it? I love that this is a question that, that people assume this. Um, neither. <laughs> My hair is naturally straight, it, it goes to, like, when it's straight now, it goes to, like, d past, past my hips, and it's straight, naturally straight. I haven't permed it. I use this chopstick curler, it's called the Lee Stafford Chopstick Curler, I'll put it in the link in the description below. I curl it once a week with this, and then it stays like this for, like, until I need to wash my hair, basically, and that's usually, like, four days. Because when it's curly, it doesn't need washing as much. I don't know, it just, like, it can stay for longer. But yeah, that's all the questions. That went on a while. There is now a storm outside. So, uh, that's exciting. I hope there's lightning. But, thank you very much for watching. And I shall see you very soon on Sunday for Sisters House Black Sunday. And then I'll see you again in the next video. Hope you have a lovely day and see you soon. Bye! I just realized I haven't had my microphone plugged in this whole time. I just realized I haven't
recorded on my microphone this whole time? I've literally forgotten how to YouTube. Bye.